All right, in this video, I'm going to go over Excel homework 2.2, GPA number 2. Um, I'm going to try to ask you to complete this one um, this week. Um, and I think you'll be able to do this after you finish your attendance quiz. So let's go ahead and download the file. Remember, this one was one of the shorter ones. Let's see. So I got the Excel file opened right here. Ah, it's a shorter one, you see. Okay, so let me make this a little bit bigger to see what we're doing. Okay, so in this problem, we will, you will invest, estimate the new GPA with four inputs. You will also calculate the GPA for this semester required to boost the GPA for a certain level. Okay, start Excel, download and open the workbook name, chapter 110, GPA 2 start. We got that opened. In cell F10, use the appropriate formula to calculate the weighted average. Now, weighted average is what we go over in section 2.2. So when, when you're working on this, you know how to find the weighted average. For the new GPA estimate with inputs in cell F5 to F8. So everything we need to use are saved in F5 to F8. And we're going to use those to find the weighted average or the GPA um, in cell F10. And we're going to format cell F10 as number with two decimal places. And that's pretty common, right? Is it? I don't know. Is your GPA usually rounded to two decimal places? I thought so. But all right, let's go to F10 right here. So here's F10. Um, they want you to use, remember, they want you to use F5 to F8, right? They want you to use these four numbers to find the new GPA estimate down here. So if you take a look, um, I think they gave you the formula that you need to use right here. Credit so far, this is the formula we're going to use. Let's see if I can copy it right, like right above here so that I can just look at it while I type it. Hey, that doesn't look too pretty. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start looking at it over here. So what I'm doing is the numerator will be credit so far times GPA now plus new credits times GPA for this semester. So that's the numerator so far. And then we're going to divide those by credits so far plus the number of new credits. So the total number of credits that we, we will have after this semester. So notice this is a fraction, right? And there's really not a pretty way to type in a fraction in Excel. So you need to make sure that you put parentheses around your numerator divided by parentheses around your denominator. So let me go ahead and start that. So I'm going to go in and now double click into F10, type in an equal sign. So open a parenthesis because I'm about to put everything in the parenthesis, uh, I'm sorry, numerator here. So credit so far, what's the credit so far? 72 times, but I said 72, but you saw how I click on F5, right? Times GPA now. GPA now, or they use, I don't know, why are they using different words? GPA so far. So click on that. So do F5 times F6 plus a uh, new credit. I'm looking at this formula right here. New credits. Credit this semester, 16 times uh, GPA for the semester is 3. Now, notice how they use different wording a little bit, but we understand what they mean. Close the parenthesis. I am done with the numerator. Notice I did credit so far times GPA now, plus new credits times GPA semester. Now, we're going to go to the denominator. So divide this by open the parenthesis and do credit so far. Credit so far is 72 or saved in F5 plus the new credit. New credit this semester, credits this semester is 16. Click that and then close the parenthesis. And if we hit enter, we are about to see the new GPA estimate. You ready? I'm going to hit enter. Ta-da! The new GPA this semester is 2.62. Oh, I remember. They wanted you to round this to what? Uh, number is with two decimal places. So let me click on number and then round this to, oh, this is already rounded to two decimal places. You may want to right click and go into format cells and then do it that way if you want to. But as long as it's formatted as number with two decimal places, you'll get full credit here. Let's see. So um, GPA, so again, this student had a GPA of 2.54, but he did a little better, got a 3.0 this semester. So GPA went up a little bit, I see. Okay, so the correct answer that you should see after typing in this formula is going to be 2.62. I'm going to go back and mark it as complete. Mark this as complete. All right. All right. Step three, 
In cell F16, enter a value for the estimated GPA for the semester. In cell F18, use the appropriate formula to calculate the weighted average for the new GPA estimate with inputs in F13 to F16. And they want you to format this as number with three decimal places this time. Hmm. What do they mean by enter a value? Ah, here. In note, it says in cell F16, enter any number in between 1.00 and 4.00. Okay, so anything in between 1 and 4? Okay, I'll pick one. I'll pick one. Um, so let's go to F16 and just pick a random GPA. Um, F16. Okay, um, a random GPA in between 1 and 4. I'll go with 3.56. Why am I going with it? I don't know. Completely random. You may choose like 4.0 or you may choose, who knows, any number. Really, any number in between the 1 and 4 they said. So I just went with a 3.56. That's my random number. Now they want you to do the same formula one more time that we used in um, uh, F10. So let me go back over here and look at the formula and let's start typing. Equal sign. Um, notice that we're putting everything in the numerator in a big parenthesis. I say big parenthesis, just a parenthesis. So let's do credit so far. 72 times, oopsies, times GPA now, which is 2.54 plus, I'm looking at this now, new credits times, new credit is 16 times uh, GPA semester, which is going to be, well, that's 3.56 for me. Uh, but if you pick something else, like 4.0 or 2.5, whatever, uh, that cell, uh, well, the, the cell is F16. Close the parenthesis. And then we're going to divide this by, open parenthesis, do credit so far plus new credits. Credit so far is 72 plus new credit is what? 16. So click on this. So take a look. Even though... Um, you, you and I may have put different estimated GPA for the semester. This formula should exactly be the same. And let me hit enter. And if I set my estimated GPA to be 3.56, I will get 2.725. I remember they wanted you to round this to the number with three decimal places. So I will do that. Um, I just use these two buttons. Like I can, if I click this, they put more numbers there. If I go that way, they will just take away a number. So I have three numbers after decimal. So this is good. Or you may want to right click, go to format cells, and then change it as number with three decimal places. That's perfect too. Now, what if I assume the estimated GPA to be four, 4.00? Well, then GPA goes up to 2.805. Type in same numbers as me and then see if you, if you and I get the same new GPA estimate. What if I go with 2.5? Then the GPA goes out to 2.533. Okay, looks great. Now what? Let me go back to the instructions page. Did they say anything else? Let me see. Come on. Why am I not clicking? Okay. Um, I think we got everything. So I'm going to go ahead and say that number three is done. In cell F16, oh, that's the one that we put a random number in, right? They want you to change the value of the GPA for this semester so that the value of new GPA estimate uh, is equal to 2.751. Okay, so you see what we are doing. So this student, let's say, has a goal. A goal is to get 2.751 and is wondering, the student is wondering, what do I need this semester to bring up my overall GPA? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter some random numbers into that F16 so that we get 2.751 as the result. Okay, so let's go to F16. So right now, you notice my new GPA estimate with 2.5 is right now 2.533. This is too low. What did they want? Sorry, I forgot. What did they want? Hold on, let me go back. 2.751. So they want the number to change to 2.751. So I have to just play with some different numbers. So the goal is to have this number, and I need to go up, right? I need to estimate a GPA for this semester to go up a little bit so that my new GPA estimate goes from 2.533 to 2.751. So let me be extreme and go up to 4. Oh, that's way too high. How about I go down to 3.9? Got to go down a little more. 3.8. Getting close there, right? 3.7. Ah, it must be 
3.70. So once I type in 3.7, I got the new GPA estimate to be 2.751. And that was just by typing in a random GPA for this semester. So if this student really wants to bring up this 2.54 to 2.751 this semester, this student will need 3.70 for this semester, okay? So, I mean, you guys can do this too. Like, if you're thinking about transferring and you have your current GPA so far, and if you know the number of credits that you're taking this semester, um, you should be able to use this Excel to see what you need to bring your GPA up to a certain point that you want, like three or whatever you need for your transfer or your graduation, right? All right, so that's it for this assignment. Um, so 2.2 weighted average, I mean, we use it pretty often, especially when you are a student, GPA is all about what weighted average, right? So we are done. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and save this and try to just submit it and see how we did. Um, save the file as, I'm um, just going to go ahead and save this in my desktop. I will save this on desktop and I will go ahead and submit this. Uh, right with you guys over here choose file and see how I did um, GPA 2 this one was GPA 2 uploaded and then submit for grading I'm gonna go back over here and see if it's gonna grade it immediately um, see if it's graded 2.2 .2. So you see how we got eight out of eight right here. So um, I don't think you'll be able to see the rubric on Canvas. So if you if you didn't get eight out of eight and you're wondering what did I forget to do, then what you should do is go into my lab, uh, my math lab, and click on student gradebook and click on the review screen. It's gonna pop. Uh, it's gonna give you a um, 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 what's it called? Rubric, oh yes, rubric, and it will tell you exactly why it took points off if you didn't get eight out of eight. Now, the second thing that you're gonna uh, do for me is uh, type up a quick reflection, just a two to three sentence of what you learned in this Excel homework. And but that's it for Excel homework two point two GPA number two.